And he stated to me that you two were in here um, trying to provoke a argument, and that was that. So where did you see me trying to provoke an argument with him? Is that the rest of the... I mean, I no, come on, David, you're caught. Your foot's in the trap. Get out of it. Tell the truth. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. And we are coming to you today from Sundland Park, New Mexico. Um, we are at the Sundland Park Post Office here in New Mexico. And uh, let's see, this is the main post office for Sundland Park. And uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me give you a view of the neighborhood here. Some beautiful scenery here in New Mexico. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Friday, March 26th. It is 12.42 in the afternoon and 64 degrees and sunny in beautiful Sunland Park, New Mexico. How you doing today, Watchman? What's up? Yeah, I see that. So, I uh, always like to take a moment to recognize Old Glory. Waving in the breeze, as she should. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. See what kind of signage we have on the door here. So here it says recommended. And uh, most of you are probably aware, but if you're not, uh, the state of Texas recently dropped all uh, all mask orders. So there are no state orders. We are on federal property, but I uh, just wanted to bring that up. And we're in New Mexico. <laughs> there you go. We were actually, we're in, uh, we drove into El Paso yesterday and uh, just happened back across the border into New Mexico uh, since it's right here. So uh, yeah, it's good I have Watchmen here to remind me what state I'm in. All right, so this side says required. So we wanna definitely, if we wind up going inside, uh, use the other doorway. That guy's sitting in the uh, entry there, keeping an eye on us. So why don't we go around the back? Yeah, might as well uh, check out the loading dock thing. Meanwhile, I'll get my dollar ready for my stamp purchase later on. Oh, look, that door on the side has no sign at all. Oh yeah, let's see what that one says. Let me get that for you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this no smoking sign. Oh, yeah. sorry, bro. So yeah, there's uh, no signs regarding face coverings on this door at all. So this would be the preferred mode of entry.
that's interesting. Another sign. No, no trespassing no, no signs? No trespassing signs, just authorized vehicles. Right. So if you're not a vehicle. Yeah, they usually have no uh, no trespassing signs on these restricted areas in the back. Uh, but nothing here. Post office garbage? <laughs> yeah, they always have the garbage pile somewhere in the back. Always. It's a rare post office that has a completely clean property. But uh, nothing about no trespassing on that side either. No. And so far we've been having a lot of luck with our microphone setups guys so uh hopefully you're not gonna have too much wind noise on this one we have our uh, wind socks on and we're all prepared here but it's very windy out today so if there is any wind noise i apologize and guarantee you that once we go inside it'll go away Good morning guys morning how are you Good. afternoon oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you see her waving at us? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We should go in. This might be an interesting one. Yeah, might as well. All right, let's go in this. Let's go in the door with no signs on it. How you doing? All right. After you? Yes, sir. Are you guys filming? I'm sorry? Are you guys filming? Am I filming? Yes. You absolutely. Go What's that? What's going on with the filming? Oh, we're traveling and I'm documenting my trip. Okay. Are you guys conducting business in the post office? Yep. Okay, come on mm -hmm. in. Yeah, there's no issue with filming, is there? Hello? Hello? So you approach me and start a conversation and then just ignore me? Okay. All right, I, I, I can do that too. Here, read this. This will give you all the information talk you need. Talk to the boss. You can talk to your boss. That's okay. great. And you are? I'm the postmaster. Oh, very good. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Postmaster. Good to meet you. It'd be nice if you act a little more professional, but okay. Postmaster should come out and help some customers out instead of running around the building. Yeah, it's a little good. Yeah, it's got one, two, three, four, five people online. And there's another person online. Six people online. I think you want that. I hope she's she's going to get somebody else to come out and help the customers here. Huh? The line building up. <laughs> okay. And you're going to pay with a debit card? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, ma'am. Is there anybody in the back that might be able to help? Because you have a pretty good line building up out here. 
Uh, my other lady is at lunch right now. I'm expecting her any minute. Okay. Thank you. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people online. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Can I help you? What are you recording? I'm sorry. What are you doing? I don't want to engage in a conversation in here. I don't want to create a disturbance. I'll, I can speak to you outside if you like. Oh. I just, I'm curious. Okay. I don't know what no, I want to say. Regular? Mm-hmm. Does that doesn't mean one in the scan. No, I no, she's actually number six, so she's all right. Right there, if you'll come from the other side, One, two, myself, four, and five. It's got some line work in here. I gotta give it to this lady, though. She's staying nice and calm and helping everybody and working right through it. Can I just have one stamp, please? One stamp? Yes. And I just want to tell you that you deserve two thumbs up for staying cool under pressure. Oh, thank you. You got a line going out the door, you just keep doing your thing with a smile. I can see your smile under your mask. Even under my mask? Yeah, we appreciate okay. that. Thank you. I wish your postmaster would come out and help you instead of poking his head out the door every 30 seconds looking at us. But. Oh, you know what? I, did you have anything smaller than the five? I don't. That's actually my smallest pill. I'm going to need to get some change. That's okay. No rush, thank you. 45, so let me get some change. And I got the heart stamp. Hold on, let me get oh, you the... Uh, and I'll grab the receipt with that too, if you don't mind, when you're... Uh -huh. uh, we throw them in the uh, souvenir box, okay. believe it or let not. Me, let me just hold on for a second so I can uh, remember how much change I have. Sure. Thank you. Look at the line in here. Why doesn't that guy come out and help? Big shot, postmaster. Yeah. That's really nuts that he doesn't come out here and help people. Okay. So your change is four forty five. There's four. Thank you. I gave you the forty five cents. Yes, you did. And here's a short survey. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate you. Oh, is there any chance that you could ask your postmaster to come out so I could just speak with him for a second? Sure. If you want to go to the blue door right here, I'll call them. Okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And and, and again, thank, we appreciate your courtesy, your professionalism, and it's very important. And we thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This postmaster, on the other hand, got my stamp, got my receipt. Now, of course, it's going to be if he comes out. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is a bell. Good. You guys know I like to ring the bell. Gonna poke his head up and go back in like a turtle. Could be. <laughs> We're not online. Monday? No, estamos en línea. En la fila. Perdón. Look at the line. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people online. Mr. Postmaster, how are you? Sir, so, is this work related? Yes, it is work related. What is with your attitude? You're the postmaster. You're yes. supposed to be a shining example for your staff here. Which, What's your question, sir? Well, it, it's twofold. One, I just want to congratulate whatever the young lady's name is up at the desk here. She's fantastic. She should have your job. That's my opinion. And second of all, you have eight people online here. Instead of chasing me around, wasting your time, why don't you go up to the counter and help some folks out and do your job? Thank you for your input. That is my input, and I think you should follow it.
Well, I guess she doesn't pay any attention to his nonsense. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Uh, let's get outside here. See what's going on, and we'll uh, know, maybe wrap it up. Oh, we got the cops on the way. Here we go. Oh, it, it ain't over yet, folks. We got the cops on the way. So stand by. Sunland Park Police. Still, still driving the Crown Vicks. Yeah, they got the Crown Vicks. Nice. Those are some pretty beat up vehicles, man. Well, we'll see what exciting activity is going on down at the post office. We just happen to be here for it. I wonder what it is. Hey, gentlemen, how's it today? Good, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. My name is Officer Sapino with the Southern Park Police Department. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Can you say that again? My name is Officer Sapino with the Southern Park Police Department. Officer S Sapien. Sapien. Yes, okay, very good. That is correct. Good. What's going on today? And what's your badge number, Officer Sapien? 147, sir. 147, yes, thank sir. you. And can I get info from hey, you, gentlemen? I'm Officer Figueroa, SP 145. SP 145, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And you? Hello, sir. Officer Diaz, badge number 142. 142, very good. So what's going on here? Where I don't know. How can I help you guys? No, we got a call from the post office. Did you guys go inside the post office? You got a call from the post office? Oh, see, so yeah. probably speak to them. I don't know. So, no, what, did, what did they tell you? They're telling us that you're out here being a little bit um, combative or whatever with patrons. And, is that and, what they told you? Yes, sir. They told you that we're being combative? A little combative, a little verbal, things like that. A little combative so, and a little verbal. That's interesting. So they lied to you? We don't know, sir. We're just here to find out what's going on. We just know okay. up. Yeah, well, we, well, you better go inside and get the true story from them. Tell them to stop lying to you and tell you the truth. Okay, so we, what's going on today? What are you guys, what are you guys doing? Oh, I'm not really excited about answering any questions when people are that? lying about things. You know, I, mean, I always deal with the truth and reality, but I don't deal very well with made up stories no, understood. so understood. Yeah, doing if he wants to give you the truth then i you, you know we can we can continue that conversation Go ahead. but uh yeah it's, uh, so he told he, he told you we're being combative oh. and what what exactly verbally what it was our dispatch to let us know that you guys were inside or harassing or well i'll tell you what that's part of the reason that we're here and i'm actually glad that happened um you remember when you were a kid in school and you used to play telephone right so you'd whisper something in somebody's oh, ear they'd was by the time it got back to you it was a whole right. different story oh, yeah. so Postmaster here is telling you stories. Right. That gets to your dispatch, who might be very busy and rushed and might come across to you on your radio a different way, and then you might interpret something a different way. Right. So by the time you get here, there's a whole thing going on that doesn't even exist. No, of course. So that's what I would suggest. Okay. So now I sent that other officer in. Are you guys doing like a podcast or? Well, I, I'm, very, I, I'm very specific about what questions I choose to answer. Right. I'll answer some of your questions, no, but some saying, of them I'm I might choose not to answer. As to what's oh, yeah. going on, I mean. Yeah. We're just making sure everything's okay yeah well everything's okay with me okay all right as okay. as evidenced on two cameras right no no, no we, but if he if he if, they, if he called you up and told you that then what i'm gonna have to do is, is i'm gonna have to FOIA request the emergency the 911 call okay. listen I, I, to what he said to you and if he lied to you that's gonna be a problem i mean again we don't know what's going on we're just trying to figure so out. is there any chance you made that up when you got here because no, i don't want to get him in trouble there, for there no reason there was something that was said as far as being harassing or something to that nature and it was really the post office that called or a customer? It was the post office. I believe it was the post office that called. They said it was here at the post office. That's interesting. Well, you know what? And I'll give you the flip side of that. I hate to see people do that to you because that puts you guys in a bad position. You know what I mean? Not being honest and forthright and dramatizing things can create a situation where you or somebody else could wind up getting hurt and that's right. unnecessary. No, definitely. So I think it's very important when people call 911 to be extremely, extremely accurate with what they're saying. I agree. Don't add or subtract any details I, and just tell the truth. I mean, there's plenty of times that we go to calls that we don't have all the information. We show up and it's a complete disaster. Yeah. Right. You know, it's just very limited information that we get. And then there's other calls that they give you information the that doesn't exist and there's nothing going on. And there's nothing going right, on. So, yeah. you know? And then the only thing I'm going to ask is we can just step on the sidewalk because this is a roadway. Do, oh, you consider this a roadway? Yeah. It's a Even though it's a parking lot? Yeah, it's a parking lot. It's a parking lot. It's a roadway. Okay. Alright, so we just gotta step on the sidewalk, just so that way nobody gets hurt. And I completely appreciate your cooperation with everything that's going on. Am I really cooperating? Well, in a way, I'm glad yeah, you see it that way. Uh, way you know what, I'm gonna stand on this side of yeah. you just so I get the sun by me. Yeah, go for it. Makes a better picture for the camera. Of course. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry that he, uh, you know, if he would have called up right. and said, listen, there's a couple of guys here that are uh, taking video. Right. I don't know what they're up to. Can you guys come check it out make sure we're okay? I'm good with that if that's what he feels like he needs to do. Right. 
But if he actually called you up and said that they're outside being combative. We don't know. Like well, I, but there, were, there was, there, in anybody's subjective opinion, there is nothing that happened that would give anybody that feeling. Of course. So, okay. if he told you that, it was a deliberate mistruth. Okay. And that's, uh, that's also what I'm out here to find. Okay, the truth about what? How these public employees are conducting themselves. Okay. okay. That's where, I'm here for a very specific purpose. I'm oh, not just wandering I, around. I mean, I, I completely understand that you're out here with your GoPros and your cameras yep. and everything like that. So and I have postal business. And you've been out here about 40, 40 minutes, so. Uh, yeah, you're almost right on the button. Yeah. So, yeah. so what do you got, two more cops there? You have your timer right there. It's my supervisor, you know. So. Wow, very cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be a little curious as to what's going on, how everything's going. And... Oh, you got me curious. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's interesting. Like so if you're out here to find out what public officials are doing and everything like that, I mean... Well, no, that's not well. That's not my main purpose. But I'm. Uh, it's very interesting to see how they handle things, okay. and I think it's very interesting that a postmaster. It's not even like it's a clerk. A postmaster would call you up and just lie to you. Well, I don't know who it was. That's the thing. Well, no, I, I saw him. I know who it was. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have him on so video. I have him on video on the phone. It was the postmaster. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How's how are you? Going, guys? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Lieutenant Morales. Yes, sir. Can I ask your badge number, sir? Yeah. One two seven. One two seven. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. What's going on? And you know what? Don't take it the wrong way, because I'm a short guy myself, but I'm glad there's somebody shorter than me here for oh, once. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. I get I get the short jokes all the time. I get them oh, too. Okay, well, in the picture, I hang out with this guy. <laughs> so imagine that. He makes that. you look even smaller. He makes me look even smaller. Exactly. Cool. You yeah. guys good? I'm great. Yeah. What's up, bro? I don't know what kind of stories they're telling you, but trying to make two fires with what's going on with inside with whatever the postmaster is that had to say. Okay. Um, of course, it came out that you know there was two gentlemen that were one was wearing black but with cameras, things like that. Um, postmaster said whatever he said on the radio, and just trying to come and figure out what's going on. Well, what he said on the radio, what I was told he said on the radio is that we're out here being combative and verbally confrontational. Something like that. Absolutely. Right. So he you lied guys to you. are allowed to record and sign. Yeah, of course. I don't have an issue with that. Yeah. You guys go on about your business and do what you got to do. Very cool. Okay. It always goes that way when the LT shows up. Oh, I mean, so. that's what I was getting at. I mean, yeah. No, you, and you know what? You've been very professional, very cordial. I appreciate that. You got uh, some good awesome. officers here. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm serious because a lot of guys would just roll up and assume what they heard on the radio is the accurate story of what's right. going on and just roll with that. And he walked up. He's trying to get the information. This guy's standing back, just keeping an eye on his partner here, and you got and you know a couple what? of good we'll go guys there, here. We'll educate them. Yeah, let's go in there and we'll find out what they know. what they called for. And then well, one of our guys is in there right now, taking care of that. Well, why don't we take a well, You're the LT. Why don't we take a walk in and yeah, just we'll straighten it out? Let my guy do his thing in there, and then we'll come right. in a bit. I'll go in with you. Okay, cool. No worries. Yeah, so. I just. Uh, you guys from around here? Not sure what his issue is, you know? Yeah. yeah. You guys from around here? Well, like I told Officer Diaz here, I answer some questions, but not all but not questions. Not all of them, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you probably know I'm not from around here yeah. anyway. Obviously. And we're not trying to hide ourselves or secret ourselves. And I'll even tell you what, once you once now. you guys make a final determination <laughs> yeah. on what's going on here, I'll even tell you who I am. And I, I'm, I not, I I'm not, I'm not, I don't need yeah. you, you don't have to provide it to me if you don't want to. I, I really don't. No, I appreciate that. I really yeah. don't. Don't need it. I mean, yeah. As long as the crime hasn't been committed. Nope. I mean, that's all we're, you know. Well, you know what the shame of it all is, and the LT will tell you I'm right. It's a shame that they call you guys and waste your time because even if a crime had been committed here, your hands are really tied. You don't have any jurisdiction on this property. Yeah, it's federal property. And you would find that out once you got to that point. It, so then you'd have to call FPS or Homeland Security. And then, I and then think it, on one of their signs, I'm not sure if they have it up here or not, but uh, there's do's and don't do's, and you're obviously allowed to go in and record. So there's what you're talking about, I believe, is Poster 7. Yes. And Poster it. 7 has a paragraph on photography uh -huh. and video, so yes. we're, we are explicitly allowed to do what yes. we're doing. You're, you're very educated yes. and know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. So we're very careful. We know what the rules are. We know where the restricted access Good. lines are, and we don't cross them. Okay. So. Well, I'm. And we don't even try you, to really push I'm it to gonna, the edge. I'm going to leave you in the hands of my officers because they're well educated. I don't need to go in there. If they want to take you in and talk to them, by all means, go ahead. All right, man. Very good. So I'm out of here. You I appreciate you, LT. You have a good day. Stay safe. Out of here, bro. Gents, we'll see you guys. Thanks, later. LT. Have a good one, LT. So how are we doing? Pretty good, sir. Did he tell you the same story when you got here? Well, I don't know what story you have, sir. The only thing he told me was that you guys went in there, sir. Oh, he didn't tell you we were being combative with anybody or abuse? Well, so pretty much what he had told me, sir, was that you guys went inside and tried to provoke a, a um, argument. But that was it. Well, I'm going to have to, let's go inside and speak to him about that because he's lying to you. He's, he's calling the police on me lying to you, so I want to make him tell you the truth. So what happened? Well, let's go have him tell you the truth. Come in with me. I already spoke to him, sir. All right, but let's go get the truth. You got a lie from him, I so let's. Spoke to him, sir. Okay. Okay. So I'll go back in and ask him. Why don't you tell me what's going on today? Well, let's go find out together. How come you can't tell me right here? Because I want you to 
hear it from the horse's mouth. I want to, I want to, you want to, you want me to be honest with you? Yes, I want to catch him in his lie. How about, okay, how about we do this? Why don't you ask him to come out here if you don't want to go inside? He can come out here I and talk to us. To him, sir. Why don't you tell me the truth? No, I want if him to tell lying, you. He's lying, but I want to hear the truth from No, me. I want him to tell you. But I want to hear the truth from you. Sir. And I'm going to go inside and ask him anyway, so if uh, you'd probably want to come in with me, so that way uh, he's not going to call you again. Okay. You, you know what? Call, first of all, calling 911 and filing a false police report or making a false 911 call is a crime in this state. Okay, so whether or anybody's going to prosecute him or not, I don't even want to see that happen. I'm not interested in anybody being prosecuted. But he just, the only law that's been violated here today is by the postmaster. By calling you up and filing a false police report, which is documented on two cameras. So he needs to clear that up with you. And then that'll make me feel better about it. He'll learn a lesson that he can't just call up and lie to the police and make stories up. And that'll make your jobs easier down the road. Right? You know, do you want people calling up 911 making things up? I don't think so. So let's go straighten it out. I'm not being, I'm very, very respectful conversation. We can get to the bottom of it like gentlemen and adults and figure it out. But I don't think you guys need people calling 911 making stories up to you, right? So if we can, I mean, I'll just ask them what's going on. They'll stay on camera. I mean, whatever. And then I'm out of here. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Do you have a chance to go to the Uh, no, he had his tag turned around, wouldn't give me his name, but he did tell me he's the postmaster, so. Unless he identified himself as the postmaster and he's not, that could be too. His name was something Mullins. Excuse me. Mullins? Yeah. yeah. He thinks it said Mullins on the name tag, but he's. Yeah, he's right behind this blue door. Yeah, he's right, he's right behind this blue door. If you ring the bell. And again, I'm not looking to give him a hard time. I just want the truth. You, know, you, you guys deserve the truth as much as I do. Hello. Hi. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Looking for somebody else. Yes. Oh. We need the postmaster, please. Okay. So we have four police officers here, very professional, courteous police officers. Thanks, sir. And uh, the two supervisors just left, I guess, right? So we had six police officers here because the postmaster decided he wanted to dial 911 and make stories up. That's what concerns me. And a rhetorical statement, I'm not expecting an answer, but I'm sure that concerns you as well, if that's the case. Oh, did you know? Not really. It doesn't concern you that people call up make false 911 calls? It's part of our job and it's what we do. No, it but it eats up quiet. resources. It keeps you off of other things that are actually happening. Yeah. Hello, sir. Oh, okay. She needs to walk here. Sure. Good, man. Go ahead. Absolutely. Here, I'm going to turn my camera the other way for you, ma'am. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. These gentlemen would like to find out what it is that you called us for, and uh, they said they would be out of your hair. They just want to know what's going on. Okay. I want you to tell them the truth. The truth is I didn't call them. Okay. Uh, a customer felt threatened, and they called. Okay. None of my staff called, or neither did I. Well, but when you got, I was told that... Uh, well, it was from someone from... No, but I was, I was told that one of your officers just came in here a few minutes ago, and you told them that I was being combative with a customer. That's how the call came out. Right, that's how the call that's came out. No, but that's what that's, you just told the officer five minutes ago. Well, so pretty much what he had told me, sir, was that you guys went inside and tried to provoke a, a um, argument. That's how the call came out. That's not... how the call came out. Well, you don't know how the call came out. You're just relaying that's what you see here. Me. So they told you that? Yes, I said it to him, sir, that the, that the call came out that he was being combative and okay. I wanted to know what, what was going on. And then he confirmed that? And he stated to me that you two were in here um, trying to provoke a argument, and that was that. So where did you see me trying to provoke an argument with him? Is that the rest of the... I mean, I no, come on, David, you're caught. Your foot's in the trap. Get out of it. Tell the truth. I'll talk to him if it's work-related. David Mullins. Okay. I mean, it's it is work-related. You just called 911 on me and told them a lie and told no. them I was being combative with your customers. So, so this gentleman is saying that he's not the one that called that it was a No, he just stated that he said that to you. He just said that he said that. No, he just said that he told you that. No. You just said that on video. Oh, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. I'll turn my camera away for you. get my boss involved because I never called you guys. Okay. I showed you my cell phone officer that I didn't call. Nobody here from call. 142 Central. It was a customer that called. So as far as you're aware, I was not being combative with anybody, from what you Who saw personally. reporting party on this call? Am I correct, office? David? Did you see me being combative with anybody? Officer Sarah. Uh, Sharon McCabe. Okay, I don't have an employee by the name. All right, but Mr. Mullins, did you see me being combative with anybody? 
I'm so sorry. he's not going to answer that question because he's caught. That's what people do when they lie. Does this gentleman be provoking or think about it or anything like that? If you want to come inside and talk to me, I'm not going to talk to you on camera. Okay. I mean, that's perfectly... You're easy. not going to lie to him on so camera, you mean? If that's it, we're going to break off here. Okay. And yeah, nobody's interested in your stories, okay. Mullins. Get it straight. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Uh -huh. And I'm going to call your boss. Keep an eye out for the process, over, Mullins. Oh, and I'll leave after you, gentlemen. All right, guys, well, I'm not trying to blow any sunshine here. You guys have been very professional, very courteous. Thank you, sir. you uh, listen to both sides of the story. I'm glad your LT showed up. Um, you can think about what you think you saw here today, and I hope we all learned something from it. I'm out here to get an education myself. I'm 51 years old and know nothing. The older I get, I realize I don't know a thing. Um, but, you know, you saw what you were told here today by me. You saw you, what you were told by the postmaster. And tomorrow you'll watch the video. So you'll find out what the truth is. All right. All right. Gentlemen, have a good day. On a human level, stay safe. Um, Thank you. We do have issues with rogue tyrant police officers. That did not happen here today. Uh, but there's a lot of wonderful, good law enforcement in this country. We support you guys. And we support the guys that are doing the right thing. And all we, I only ask you two things. Honor your oath and weed out the bad guys because they're not doing you any favors. A bad cop is your worst nightmare. Yes, sir. It's your worst enemy on the face of the earth is a bad cop. So don't let them get away with their nonsense because it's not doing you any favors. Definitely. And we really appreciate you guys for doing a good job and we hope you continue that way. Thank you, sir. Thank you guys you. are, well, except for you. You're, you. You look like you're probably more my age, but you guys are young, right? You have a long career ahead of you and just, you know, don't let, don't get tainted by the system. Yes, sir. Yes, Keep sir. things straight and treat people fairly. That's yes, all we sir. ask. Of course. All right, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. And I didn't mean you're that old. You're, uh, <laughs> you might be a little younger than me. But no, seriously, gentlemen, I thank you and I hope you have a good day and stay safe. Thank all right, you, take care. And obviously, I'm going to wait until you guys leave to leave. Right. No. I can't leave before you because then it looks like I got chased out of here. <laughs> so, and I'll tell you what I do. What I'm going to do is, is I wait for you guys to leave, right? Then I'm going to go inside. I'm not even going to go into the retail area. Just by the post office boxes, I'm going to do one loop through just so they know you guys didn't run me out of here. And then I'm gone. They'll probably never see me again. All right? Okay. That's it. That's all it is. That was the big story at the post office today, guys. I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Take care. All right, so here's the detective supervisor here in this uh, gray F-150 taking off, and then you have the other three police officers leaving. I'm assuming one of them's probably in training because you got two guys in one of those cars. Yeah. So hopefully uh, this was a good training day for him. And these marked units are vehicle number 677 and vehicle number 647. Well, all right, guys, um, not much to say. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I am going to leave the uh, phone number for this post office in the description and uh, just want to invite anyone out there, if you think what this postmaster did was uh, off color at all, give him a call and let him know. Um, as usual, I'm always going to ask you to stay professional, keep it businesslike, no yelling and screaming, no profanity. We're looking for productive, fruitful calls here. Um, but if you want to let them know you're not happy with what you saw, you're free to do that. You are free to seek redress with your government and uh, its employees. Um, but that's it. So, um, you know, I wish the postmaster would have been a little more forthcoming. The lady behind the counter, the clerk working the desk, fantastic, 100%. Kept her cool with eight people online. Um, didn't give us an attitude at all, smiles, friendly. So, uh, you know, a mixed bag here at the, uh, at the Sunland Park Post Office. 
But uh, that's it. And again, I hope the wind noise isn't killing you. We'll find out when I get back to the office. But uh, that's going to wrap it up. So I always like to remind you guys, if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do, and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more people uh, so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something from them. Um, I know I'm out here getting an education every day, guys. Always something new to learn. Um, and I invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. His channel's doing great. He has uh, maps that show where we are and other information and his narration and all kinds of stuff. Uh, recently hit 50,000 subscribers. His channel's doing great. He puts a lot of work into it. So uh, check him out. For those of you who don't know, watching The Watchman's my son. I'll leave a link in the description of his channel. Um, but that's it. So we're going to head in the truck. Uh, hop in the truck head down the road and see what else we could find for you uh the day is young it's beautiful out and uh that's it so coming to you from the sunland park main post office in sunland park new mexico watching a watchman amagansett press we'll catch you on the next one guys out